So I'm just looking at the Sky Router now and giving it a quick test to see how uh, good it is before we modify it. And that's the Sky Router there. I've got it um, around 45 metres away going through two brick walls and I'm getting zero so it's showing completely dead. It picked it up for a second and then it dropped back off again so really 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 poor connection. So this time we're going to modify a Sky Router and it's uh, the version previous to the new one that's out now and uh, what I thought we'd do with this one is uh, modify it so we've got some external connectors so we can add whatever antennas we want to it using uh, SMA connectors. So finding a router that has external SMA connectors nowadays is quite difficult and uh, you actually end up paying a lot of money for one so it should turn out to be a good mod. Now to open this box up all it is is you take the rubber feet off here and there's actually four torque screws you remove them and then it just pops apart. So to modify this router is actually quite simple we don't have to create any solar points or anything like that because we've already got this coaxial cable we've got uh, two connections here we've got one going to this crappy ass antenna there and we've also got one going to this uh, PCB antenna but uh, both of them are really pathetic when it comes to antennas so what we're going to do is desolder these and like I said we'll add some of our SMA connectors now this one you can buy these off eBay already made up with the connector crimped on the end for a couple of pound or you can make your own and buy some uh, connectors here I've got a bag of ten for around five pounds I think off eBay and uh, what we'll have there at the end is a much more versatile router that we can uh, choose what antennas we want to put in there now something else you have to take into consideration is the length of these connectors and I should just have enough room to actually attach these and then bring my coax down underneath it now this coax it's not as good as LMR coax which is microwave rated but uh, this is a piece of LMR 195 but it's really stiff and I'd really struggle to get that bend in it wouldn't fit in to this application at all and I would also have a hard time soldering it on to uh, these solder points it's that thick and rigid it probably end up snapping off so although this is um, it's like a compromise um, it is a lot better in uh, when you've got um, only a small area to work in and you're quite confined but uh, don't use TV coax or anything like that make sure you get some uh, proper decent coax that's 50 ohm and at least rated for uh, microwaves like this is rated um, to be less lossy than normal coax but uh, it's uh, nowhere near as good as true LMR cable. So I've desoldered the old antennas and cleaned it with a bit of solder wick um, so I've got rid of this one now as for this one here I'm not going to bother desoldering that it's actually soldered underneath I'm just going to get some tin snips and snip all this off and just clean it up and leave it in place so as for soldering this just uh, get a little bit of solder on the end of your iron and solder that centre connector first because you've pre-tinned and uh, also the pads pre-tinned you should just a little bit of heat transfer with that little bit of solder on your tip and that'll be enough to hold it in place and then just go and solder on the shield and of course once you've got them soldered on it's a good idea just to check continuity with a multimeter just to make sure you haven't bridged any of those uh, solder joints so now what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and modify the case to accept the connectors so we can add some antennas so here is the router with its uh, two antennas in place and you just screw them out and these just have a simple locking nut that uh, you drill a hole five millimeters put them through and then lock them with a nut so what that means now is we can swap out and put different antennas on our router to suit different needs and whatever works for you so all that's left to do now is to give it a quick test and see how well it performs so looking at the router after the antenna modifications we're getting around 70% signal 72% so not quite as good as the BT home hub I did in the last video but uh, there again that did have a bi-quad antenna but uh, certainly better than the 0 or 2% we got when we 
first tested it so I'm pretty pleased with that so if you enjoyed this video and you think you got something out of it then please as always give it a big thumbs up and any questions or comments just drop them below and I'll get back to you and uh, let me know if you have a go at this and uh, see what kind of performance gain you actually get